This is the Scoop for Thursday. I'm Sean Canan with the WMNF News Headlines. A proposed passenger train route from Chicago to Miami would potentially bypass Tampa's Union Station. WMNF's Chris Young reports that transit advocates are calling for Tampa to be included. The Chicago-Miami passenger rail route was included in the Amtrak Daily Long Distance Service Study's proposed network of preferred routes. The route would have Florida stops in Jacksonville, Orlando, and Miami. We noticed there are these amazing routes all over the country, especially the one from Chicago to Florida. And then we looked closely and we realized that they were bypassing Tampa. Brandy Miklas is the president of Friends of Tampa Union Station. The nonprofit advocates for the station. Union Station currently has service from New York to Miami, with one train northbound and one train southbound per day. The group posted about the proposal on social media and received overwhelming feedback. The simple message is Tampa wants Amtrak. Tampa wants more passenger rail service. They want to be connected to other areas of the country. The Federal Railroad Administration told WMNF that the route is only conceptual and in its very early stages. Both the FRA and Miklas encouraged Tampa residents to provide feedback on the proposed plan. You can submit your comments to the FRA by email at contactus at fralongdistancerailstudy.org. Public comments are open until March 8th. For WMNF News, I'm Chris Young. You can find links to more information, including how to submit your comment by tomorrow on our website, WMNF.org. The Florida House of Representatives gave final approval yesterday to a revamped plan that aims to keep children off social media. The House voted 109 to 4 to approve the plan after Governor Ron DeSantis last week vetoed an earlier version. DeSantis and House Speaker Paul Renner, who has made a priority of the social media issue, negotiated the revamped plan. The bill seeks to prevent children under age 16 from opening social media accounts, though a key change in the revised version would allow parents to give consent for 14 and 15 year olds to have accounts. Supporters of social media restrictions, including State Representative Juan Carlos Porras, contend that social media harms children's mental health and can lead to sexual predators communicating with minors. The threat is real, and if we as a state, as a community, don't do something to protect our kids, these social media companies are just going to continue to benefit off of their demise. The bill does not name social media platforms that would be affected, but it includes a definition of such platforms with criteria related to such things as algorithms, addictive features, and allowing users to view the content or activity of other users. The law that Florida Governor Ron DeSantis calls Stop Woke was dealt another legal blow this week after an appeals court decided to enforce an injunction against it. The 11th Circuit Court of Appeals says the law discriminates against several different viewpoints. The portion of the issue... uh, The portion of the law at issue banned private businesses from requiring employees to take trainings on concepts related to discrimination based on race, sex, color, or national origin. Kate Blankenship with the free speech group PEN America cheered the court's decision. The 11th Circuit said this bill is rampant with viewpoint discrimination. That will doom this bill in any space, and that is excellent news for Floridians because this bill never should have been passed in the first place. In June, the same court will hear an appeal to another part of the law that deals with similar issues in higher education. A lower court has also stopped the state from enforcing that one. The Florida Senate gave final approval yesterday to a bill designed to keep identity politics out of teacher preparation programs. It now goes to Governor Ron DeSantis. The Republican-controlled Senate voted 28 to 12 along party lines to approve the bill nearly a week after the House passed the measure. The bill emerged as one of the most controversial culture wars and education bills of the 2024 legislative session. A measure aimed at outlawing intoxicating hemp-based products is ready to go to Governor DeSantis after both the House and Senate passed it yesterday. The bill drew an outcry from manufacturers and sellers of hemp-based products who warned that it would close businesses and drive people to the illegal drug market. The legislation targets what is known as Delta 9 THC and other cannabinoids in hemp products, including whole flower products that can create euphoric effects. The House voted 64 to 48 to pass the bill while the Senate unanimously supported it. It will be partly cloudy and hot today with highs in the low 80s. Tonight, mostly cloudy with overnight lows in the mid-60s. And tomorrow, mostly cloudy and hot, highs in the mid-80s. I'm Sean Canaan with the WMNF News Headlines. This is The Scoop. 
recorded at WMNF Tampa.